Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Angie Patterson and you probably already know that. In today's video, I'm going to be giving some love to my union SAG-AFTRA. But real quick, before we get started, I have a very important question to ask you. Have you subscribed yet? If not, then, I mean, you know what to do. Just, just subscribe. Subscri subscribe. Okay, good. Now that that's all cleared up, let's just jump into this video. So, we all get too many emails, right? I mean, I get too many emails, you get too many emails, you get emails from me just because you're subscribed to this channel. Everything you sign up for, everything you go to do, every time you buy something, you get added to an email list. And some of them, you can just send them all to spam and whatever, you'll never miss anything. But some stuff, you can't click unsubscribe because you still need to receive notification emails from those places and yada, yada, yada. You know how it goes. You know how the system works. Now, one place that sends out a lot of emails is SAG-AFTRA. Now, if you're in the union, they have your email address and they send you information that you may need or may want or may not need or want. I'm gonna be real honest with you, for the longest time, I deleted those emails from SAG-AFTRA. I would get the email, maybe, maybe glance through it, like, you know, what topics they had, and then just click delete. I would never really read details or anything like that. Well, one day, about, I'd say a month and a half ago, um, I was kind of briefly glancing at, you know, the content in that email, and it said that there was going to be a meeting informing members about their, their insurance through SAG-AFTRA. Now, I am one of the lucky people who have had insurance through my union for many years now. I've luckily made the you know, minimum amounts required or whatever in order to get insurance through SAG-AFTRA. And let me tell you, it is excellent insurance and I'm so grateful for it, especially because I have a family. You know, I'm married, I have a little kid. We need insurance. Like, I mean, everybody needs insurance, but don't, we won't even get started on that. But SAG-AFTRA offers its members really, really, really great insurance. But as with all insurance, it's so confusing and complicated and there never seems to be a straight answer. And even if sometimes you call like different representatives will give you different answers. That's not like to bag on SAG-AFTRA, that's just like any customer service line for any company in the history of the world. Sometimes two people will give you two different answers. That's just how it is. So they were having an opportunity for SAG-AFTRA members to come to a meeting and ask any question they want and they gave a big presentation and helped you learn how to maximize all your benefits for your insurance. And I wanted to know how to maximize my benefits. I wanna know how to like make all my appointments happen a certain time so that I can avoid paying a deductible and this and that, blah, 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 blah. So um, I signed up and I went. You guys, I was so impressed with the setup that they have for meetings for their members there. It was in the James Cagney boardroom at the sag building. Not all of their events are in this boardroom, but it is, it's so nice. It's a big, beautiful, air-conditioned, modern room, and they have like rows of tables set up and you can bring your computer in and plug it in. You can charge your phone there, uh, your little station. You can, um, they provide water bottles and coffee. It's just, fantastic and I, I really felt like well taken care of as um, a SAG-AFTRA member at this meeting and um, and they gave a really really fantastic presentation. Here's a little photo of my point of view during the presentation. It was incredibly informative but you know that's kind of besides my whole point. My whole point is these meetings like I definitely underestimated them and uh, I think a lot of people are probably doing the same thing. A lot of p actors probably get those emails and just like delete, delete, delete. But it's kind of like the election. Like if you didn't inform yourself and didn't vote, you can't complain. I think you all know what I'm talking about. Like, you know, if you don't involve yourself in anything or inform yourself, you have no right to complain about what's currently going on. You really like, you need to involve yourself in these meetings, they have meetings on commercials contracts, for example. So, you know, when you get your ballot to vote on some of these commercials contracts or on our SAG after representatives or whatever, there's always opportunities in these emails that we get that, you know, they're hosting meetings where you can get all the information you need to make an informed decision, which is what we should all be 
doing? Oh, I feel I'm like I'm getting I'm starting to get hot and sweaty, which means that I'm I need to like take a deep breath and calm down for a second. All I'm trying to say now that we're nice and zen is make sure you do read those emails because sure, some of it might be information that doesn't apply to you or you don't really care about, but I promise you there will be some of it that you should at least give a look and see, you know, if it's something you're interested in because I want to do a separate video about the perks of joining the union and whether you should join the union or not. But this one is really about these emails that come because it's, they're just, I feel the need to tell you guys to really take a, a second look at those emails because let me just, I made some notes of the last like six emails I've received of some of the highlights of the stuff that they're offering to members. So let me just, okay. So here's one thing. They had a seminar called Making Sense of the U.S. Advertising Industry and what it means for the sag after commercials contracts. Like th that's another thing that they're hosting in the James Cagney boardroom so that you can ask questions and they do a presentation so that, you know, the advertising industry is ever changing. And right now it's in a very odd place, which is in turn affecting all of, you know, commercials and casting, which is affecting how busy you are for your auditions. And so you want to know why, like everyone's like, why is it so slow? What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. Like here are some of your answers. So that's just a nice thing um, for you to get your questions answered. Member discounts. You can always find like movie, movie ticket discounts. They had a member discounts for the LA Latino International Film Festival. They had member discounts for um, a, a really great play that was at the Geffen, which, you know, tickets to this stuff is expensive. And to get like a member discount through SAG, like wouldn't you like to check that email and see what discounts you get? Who doesn't like a discount? Okay, calming down again. Radio plays at the Autry Museum. They put on, you know, like before there was TV, before there was anything, they, uh, there used to be radio plays. People sit around their little radio and listen to plays put on by voiceover actors. They were actually doing something like that again at the Autry Museum and it was free for members. Um, they had some great LGBT and some uh, Outfest events. They're doing a commercials casting seminar where you're getting casting directors and session runners who are the people running the camera in your commercial auditions and you, they'll give you like, behind the scenes look at, you know, who looks at the tapes, what happens, whatever. That sounds really cool. Um, and then they have like a member orientation when you first join SAG after and you have a trillion questions, they do member orientations. Guys, there is so much that our union offers to the members and the only way you're gonna find out about it without logging on to their website every day is to actually give a thorough look at these emails and I really advise you to do that. And if you're unsubscribed from these SAG after emails, I would really advise you to sign back up so you can stay informed. I will note that for a lot of this stuff, you do have to be a current SAG after member in good standing. And a lot of times they'll ask you to, um, you know, bring your SAG card and show it. Parking there is validated usually. They just treat you really well and uh, as they should, because you know, we're members and we pay our dues. And if you're paying dues, you might as well make the most of everything that's offered to you, right? Guys, that is it for today's video, but real quick, I just want to say, please check in with me next week for my video because um, I mentioned a week or two ago that I have a special announcement coming and it's happening next week. So I would really love for you to tune in and check it out. Subscribe so you don't miss it and like this video and share this channel with anyone that you think might benefit from it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.